Hey everybody, I am about to head to the office. I bring you guys along with me today, kind of a day in the life and mostly sourcing. So let's head to the office now. I think that Nikki has a few like pre-screening interviews. We mentioned hiring somebody and she's starting that process. So I think when we go in, she might have a couple things scheduled and we might get a little bit of a late start, but I think we'll still have enough time to source. I went sourcing yesterday and I found some really great stuff. I'll show you a little snippet of that, but not gonna do a full haul today. I've started keeping the Hulkin bag in my car because it's been so convenient to put literally everything in. I can put all of my source goods in it for the day. I can put my tablet in it, my purse. I can do everything and wheel it into the office. So I've really been enjoying having this. It is slightly pricey, but to me, it's been worth it. We also use it to bring items to the post office. Here is a small peek at some of the items I got yesterday. I found a ton of Lily Pulitzer. I think it was like all one person's collection. Um, lots of great stuff in here besides the Lily Pulitzer, but I'll be doing a full haul on that soon. So make sure that you are subscribed and hit the notification bell. Um, that way you do get notified as I post new content. But I'm just unloading my stuff for the rest of the day to make room for new items that we're going to be sourcing today. And one of the other great items that I found is this purse. I got it for $4.99 and wait till you see what it is. Tory Burch. $4.99 Tory Burch leather bag. Can't believe it. So I'm heading to the office with all of my stuff. This bag holds a lot so it makes it super convenient and we're going to head straight to sourcing. So we're going to jump straight into the sourcing. This is the first place we went to and I'm just going to show some raw footage of us sourcing some of the things that we look at and if there's anything notable I will tell you why. I found this men's Gymshark shirt, and Gymshark's actually been performing very well for us. I won't say that it sells for a ton, but it has a decent sell-through rate and is selling quickly in our store, so I did pick up this men's shirt. I'm heading over to a small section of the shoes. This is the men's shoe department in this store, and since we're moving into fall and winter, I am trying to look for men's leather boots. I always look for high-quality leather, but in the fall time, I definitely saw a lot of men's fall leather boots, so I'm just taking a look at those. I ended up leaving these behind because of the wear. I started looking up these men's sketcher shoes because they kind of had that vintage look. They were a little hard to find. I ended up having to search men's sketchers. I think it was like old school stripe shoes or something like that. These actually had a pretty decent sell through rates, um, but not 100%. So I ended up leaving those behind, but maybe something you want to look for if you can get them cheaply. I'm also looking for men's slippers because again, moving into fall and winter, I'm trying to stay ahead of the season. This is typically something that would sell well for me during fall and winter, just not that particular brand. These are a pair of Kohan Grand OS's, which I probably would have picked up had they not had so much wear. Wow. 
I got really excited when I found these. These are a pair of bed stew men's like leather Oxford shoes. Now, normally I would love finding bed stew. It's been a while since I found it, probably, probably over a year by now. So it's been a while since I've checked comps because of that. These had significant wear on the heel. I did do comps on it and unfortunately this particular style did not have a good sell through rate. I might have still taken a chance on it though had it not had that significant wear, but I would say I'm probably gonna stick to the boots in bed stew from now on. And it just goes to show that things that used to be bolos don't comp well now and you constantly have to do your research. I did end up finding these pair of men's Kohan Grand OS's. They're a really nice leather dress shoe, and so I picked them up for $9.99. The thrift store had them priced up a little bit, but I still thought that I could sell them for probably about $50. I also ended up coming across these pair of men's military type boots. They had these priced for $14.99, um, which again is higher. These are called Belleville and they're like military boots. They have a Vibram sole, which is the main reason I looked them up. And they actually had a pretty decent sulfur rate. So I decided to get those as well as those Cole Hans you saw earlier. Yeah, same. Oh, sorry. I think it's You're fine. What's, what color do they have on there? Okay. I found some shoes, some Kohan men's green like I found a pair of, I don't know if you've ever heard of bed stew. It's a really nice like leather brand that makes like kind of unique distressed looking boots and stuff, but I checked comps and it wasn't good. I think their boots was totally good, but it used to be like such a really good brand to pick up. These are like military boots. I'm trying to make sure they have a sole, but they're called Belleville. There was two pairs. The other one was way too damaged to get, but they had a good sell three and then gem shark shirt. I don't know what that was, so it was a spam call, but those are good. I was thinking about that. I've been like comping stuff and it has not been comping well, but I know that it's probably going to be in the future. So I've been trying to keep that in mind, but it's been hard to do comps. Have you ever seen Garnet Hill jeans? Mm -hmm. Are they any we good? White pants. I don't know about jeans, but we had white pants. Huh. Yeah, sure. I think they have too much wear in the crotch, but I was just curious. Uh, no. No good? I mean, they might have a good soul be late. hard time leaving that brand behind. was talking about this song yesterday at another store. I love her! It's a Bowden. Oh, it's Mock Bob. 
And she's like bigger than my size. It's cute length too. Midi. I might try it on. You should. If not, we'll sell it. It's very pretty. It's glitter. I like very it. Eve. I've been picking up a lot of dresses Dude, lately. This is so cute. Oh, I thought you were about to say there was a flaw. I was like, oh no. Oh, it's pockets. <laughs> get in my cart. Okay, she's looking for new racks right now. I'm gonna have to get away from the speaker, but no one can hear us right now. Have you gone this way? men's polo jeans in the women's department. They should go for about 30, 35, 40. Sorry, I'm cutting you off to stay close to you so that I can talk. You ever heard of pajama jeans? No. They look very comfy. Sounds like Cute. Also looking for beach dresses. Oh, that's Shein. Yeah, that's why I almost showed you earlier. They're really cute. You can tell both of the qualities down. These pajama jeans are no good. I keep looking. <laughs> oh, I was telling you, I literally was talking about that song yesterday and I said the exact same thing. I said, this song is so annoying because of the grammar in it. It's just awful. Have you been finding a lot of gray tags? I'm just not seeing a lot in the aisles. Probably going to start looking for sweaters soon. One thing we've been doing is paying special attention to plus size pieces. This is a Coldwater Creek 3X linen embroidered top and it surprisingly has a really good sell through rate. Just in case you're new here and you don't understand the way that we're sourcing, we're not going through every single hanger. We are looking for the new colors, which 
this week was the gray tabs and then last week I think was the red tabs when I made this video so we're looking for gray and red and just kind of skimming the aisles to cherry pick and look for just those colors so that we can take a look at the newest items of course if we see something that looks substantial that isn't one of those colors we will definitely still look at it Look at this. It's like really nice too. Yeah, it feels nice. And then I looked up these Coldwater Creek 3X linen top just because I thought it was really cute. It's like a yeah. tunic style and it had like a 200% sell through rate. So maybe we're, you know, add it to the plus size bucket list. It's like a pub on top thing then maybe. New oh my god, where's all this stuff coming from? Ready? Ready? Sundance. Linen. Oh, linen. Those are those are cute. Got the button. Yeah. Old tag. 100% linen though. Oh, well, that's cool. Florally. Is it a skirt? Yeah. That's cool. Nice. Probably worth noting that we don't normally go to the new racks, or not the new racks, we don't normally go to the aisles in the store and actually go through them, but it's paying off today. Yeah, usually it has holes, but not today. I stopped because I saw this embroidered thing, but I'll do the rest of it. Be cool if they brought some more out. This is you. You should wear this. Mm. Beachy. Yeah, I've been trying to limit it to like mainly dresses because okay, then right. I can pack it. Pick, pick what? Pick between one or two. You have to pick one. Oh, like the number? Two. Oh, okay. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> if I had to pick, I'd probably go with the tank top. I wish this was my size because it's very cute. That is very cute. Oh, this is a small. It's really nice. Is it silk? Uh, it, it looks kind of Y2K. Me either. I must have been getting like, I don't know. I must have been moving a lot of stuff out lately. That, but it was no good. Sweaty buddy sweater? Yeah. Apparently it's not as good as some of the other stuff though. It's a cashmere blend. Okay, I'm getting this 
Not because their sweaters comp well, but only because it's a cashmere blend. The cashmere one's too good. I really thought this would be better. It's a brand called Skin, and it has like standard, or not standard, it has like, it almost, I thought it was James Purse because it has a size three and it's Pima cotton, but retails for that, but no sell through at all. Also found a Lululemon tank back there, but I left it because it was a uh, the old style ones. I did not do the men's yet. I just looked at the shoes.
The, the Madewell? Yeah. I mean, I come across them a lot, I just don't get them because... Is it silk? It has a Peter Pan collar. Might look it up with Peter Pan. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, I found quite a few things. Did you see a pair of leggings over there at the end that had a logo on them but couldn't tell what they were? Let me show you. Some BKE jeans. They are definitely an older style. They're called Marshall. I've never even heard of that one. Yeah. You know what, we usually go there in the afternoon though, it might be better if we get there. Well, I guess we'd still be going there in the afternoon, but 
might be a little better. Those weren't good. These? No. Oh, yeah. That's surprising. Yeah, that's what I thought. They were like, mm, I'll tell you. They were 273 sold. I'm going backwards. 273 sold. 547. That's not good. Alright, let's go to the next place. Or get lunch. What do you want to do? What? So let's go to the next place or get lunch. What do you want to do? Where you want to go after this? I saw this stuff up just high enough that we can't make money off of it. <laughs> what are these? <laughs> I don't think this one had one at all. I didn't, I didn't see one. I was just going white women's and men's shirts. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> did you know that? Oh, no. No, did not know I missed that. that. We might not end up having any. We might not be that lucky. I definitely didn't notice that at first. Sorry. Okay. I just want to say, you asked me and I was like, wait, I didn't get this. <laughs> I thought it was that cold water creek one first. Oh, nice. I'm just going to let it pan over the edge for now. Oh, sorry. And I hit you. Gray. Nope, no yellow. We suck. Yep, I split them as I went. <laughs> Okay, well, let's see what we have with that first. Okay. Men's shirts. Oh, you recognize me? <laughs> I recognize your shirt. Hi. Oh, thanks. Okay. All right, so we just went to the first thrift store. We had Chipotle for lunch. It was so good. I did not like mine. It's it was okay. It was they didn't have fajita veggies. So. And they put corn in mine, but it's fine. Yeah. I didn't make them remake it because I'm not that person. But we have kind of sucked uh transitions today. We just said that. But when we would have done a transition, we went to leave the other first store and realized that we had an interview that was in like three minutes. Yeah. So we like hurried over to Chipotle so we could sit in the parking lot and interview this person so how are how are pre-interviews on the phone by the way going so far <laughs> well so there's three currently um one i'm not even calling there's cop cars back there i heard yeah they was going um one i just am not reaching back out to because bad vibes. long story short it's like all the red flags I was looking for, they're there. And then one is pretty good. We're meeting with them next week. I feel pretty hopeful on. And then the one today, we'll see. I'm kind of, uh, I don't know, we're torn. They remind us of somebody we know. And I'm not gonna say who, but it could be bad in my opinion. Kaylee thinks they sound nice and friendly, but I don't, I think it's PTSD. I do have concerns with them. Yeah, yeah. but. That's why we suck at transitions. Oh, look, I still have paint on my hands from yesterday. It didn't come all the way off. We're creating a second photography station for this person because we realized that their schedules would probably overlap with the person that's currently there doing photos. So they're gonna have their own stations that their schedules never clash. And as you said, you know, they'll never really have an excuse as to why they couldn't get photos done and can't blame it on another person. So Nikki was painting the wall um, yeah. and has some paint on her. Have some speckles. But other than the interviews, today was going pretty good. We got 28 items at the first thrift store um, and we met a subscriber. <gasps> yeah, she was so yeah. nice too. So hashtag shout out to Carol. It was nice to meet you today and... All your words were so great. It was yeah. really nice chatting. Sorry that I like half ignored you, but I was checking out. So. <laughs> yeah, so it was nice to meet somebody. Um, and then that's all we've really done. We only really have time for one more thrift store, which is the one we're about to run into. And I think we only have like 30 minutes in here. So let's see what we can go get and hopefully find some new bolos. Okay, see you in a bit. Bye. I'm going to beat Kaylee, so stay tuned. <laughs>
the shoes out that they normally have. Don't know why. No, I think they were transitioning right now. Looks really Didn't you find the other ones? These are cool bottoms. Didn't you find the other ones here too? Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. With them being black, 
There's a black pit that we went for 90. Yeah, I say they'll probably go closer to like 100. If I had to guess. Nice. Awesome. I haven't found mother in like, I don't even know. It's been a long time. I want up too. <laughs> There's a four wheeler back there. A kid's one. Should we get it? <laughs> she says kids, like, that's gonna entice me to want that. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. See that? See that? Come get me, bro. <laughs> Okay, I was told that they're so oh. Okay, I was told there's a little Nike skirt. I was told I had to investigate because I'm the Lauren Ralph Lauren queen. Eh. Yeah, they are. If they have like an embroidery or something on them, I'd probably get them. Or if they were more like equestrian or something, I probably would have. Sorry. Hey, Nikki. I'm winning. <laughs> I love it. Me too. I don't know how their skirts do that, but we're gonna get it. <laughs> I won after the Lily Pulitzer thing yesterday. It still counts today. <laughs> you know that feeling when you find one good piece and then you're like, should I go through the rest of the skirt section like individually because of that? from Australia. Oh, it's really pretty. I got this to send a thread up. It's a Carlisle brand. a brand but it's a dinosaur thank you yeah i like the t-shirt one <laughs> not my color no all right time to head out okay so that wraps up today we ended up getting a total of 43 items for the entire day which is a pretty good day, but we're gonna end the vlog here. We hope that you guys enjoyed watching all the stuff we found, and we'll see you in the next one. And I beat Kaylee. I she got <laughs> 28 items. She got a majority of the items today, for sure. We got some a couple good ones, too. We got, yeah, we got some really good stuff. 
My favorite friend today was that new attacks bag though. I don't know why, just because it's so unique. Mine with those flared mother jeans. Those, those are probably the best one we got today. Oh, <laughs> it is in writing on video. I win. She says it. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Bye.